Bite, Beyond Priors for Improved 3D Dog Pose Estimation. Our goal is to infer 3D shape and pose of dogs from images. In particular, our approach infers the shape and pose parameters of an articulated parametric 3D shape model. In contrast to pose estimation for humans, where there is an enormous amount of existing 3D scan and motion capture data available, this is missing for animals. Having very little 3D data for animals prevents us from creating expressive pose priors as is done for humans. To achieve good pose estimates nevertheless, we exploit an important cue that has commonly been overlooked in 3D animal pose estimation, ground contact. Many 3D pose ambiguities can be resolved by exploiting contact since quadrupeds tend to touch the floor with multiple body parts. This is particularly true for complicated sitting and lying postures. Within this project, we develop a training dataset and automated method to take advantage of this. Furthermore, we make contributions with respect to shape estimation and evaluation. First, we train a new model, DSmall, that is specific to dogs and is trained from scans of 39 toy dog figurines. As with small, we compute a shape space using PCA. Here we visualize changes in shape along the first few shape directions. Second, to attain high quality, at test time we use an optional optimization stage where we adjust pose and compute vertex displacements to better capture the dog shape. Finally, we need a test set that actually measures the right thing that is, errors in 3D instead of 2D reprojection errors. To that end, we contribute a new 3D test dataset. Using 27 purchased scans of real dogs, we create seven realistic rendered images per scan. We use this test set of images to evaluate our method as well as the prior art. As a base method, we take Bark and retrain it with a new dog model, DSmall, and call this Bark Plus. Bark Plus consists of a stacked hourglass, a shape branch, and a pose branch. Pose prediction is performed through a normalizing flow network, which is pre-trained on simple 3D poses from the RGBD dog dataset. The normalizing flow network serves thus as pose prior. If we add ground contact constraints losses directly to Bark Plus, this doesn't lead to the desired results. Note how, for example, the legs of the two dogs to the right penetrate the floor. This is because the normalizing flow pose prior doesn't have the flexibility to model poses well when they deviate significantly from the poses it's trained on. Instead, we design our novel method called Byte such that it first, through Bark Plus, produces an imperfect but viable estimate within the scope of Bark's pose prior. Then, in a second step, Byte upgrades that initial pose estimate to a potentially complex pose lying outside the prior's domain. We call this second part of Byte the refinement network. The refinement network takes as input the image, the stacked hourglass predictions for key points and the silhouette, and the reprojection of the predicted 3D model's key points and silhouette. An encoder encodes these inputs and feeds them to several branches, each specialized for a specific task. Since our goal is to achieve the best possible 3D estimates, we use test time optimization and we design two branches for that. One branch predicts a label indicating whether the ground under the dog is flat, the second branch predicts vertex-wise contact labels for all images with flat ground. In addition to the branches dedicated to test time optimization, we add three more branches for the parameters we want to refine. Dog pose, translation, and camera focal length. As input to those branches, the encoder's output is concatenated with the Bark Plus estimate for pose, translation, and focal length, respectively. Instead of predicting the refined parameters directly, we predict offsets that are then added to the Bark Plus estimates in order to obtain the final values. The Pose 3D dog model can directly be extracted from the three refined parameters and the Bark Plus estimate for shape. Training is guided by our novel ground contact and ground penetration losses. To further improve the results at test time, we can perform an optional optimization stage. Here we update the model parameters of DSmall, but also allow for vertex-wise shifts to better capture the dog shape. Red boxes within this graphic denote elements that are passed to the test time optimization loop. Optimization is guided by reprojection losses, a prior on torsion and sideways movements of the legs, ground contact constraints and 3D regularizations, namely a normal consistency loss, an edge loss, and a Laplacian loss. Previous work has been evaluated using 2D metrics, specifically IOU and PCK. Byte is more accurate on these measures. However, they don't correlate well with accuracy in 3D reconstruction. Therefore, we also compute 3D errors using our new 3D test set. 
Byte, and especially Byte with test time optimization, outperform all previous state-of-the-art methods in terms of scan-to-mesh and mesh-to-scan distances. We finish by showing qualitative results. What you see here are results for previous state-of-the-art methods, Waldo, CTF, and Bark, as well as our Byte TTOpt results. We outperform all other methods in terms of visual 3D quality. Next, we show a large selection of Byte results together with the estimated ground plane. Notice that we successfully predict pose for images where the dog is on flat ground, but are also able to deal with images where this is not the case. And finally, we present results for Byte with test time optimization. Please observe how diverse yet realistic the predicted shapes and poses are. Our method is able to take ground contact into account when reasoning about dog pose and is capable of predicting accurate dog shape and pose for various scenes. The code, dsmallmodel, and novel test images will be available for research purposes.